so good evening friends so for all my friends uh, you must be aware that i've already done 60 covid updates so as you see the last update 60th update i done on 2nd february so again the covid has resurfaced so people there is in all the media is talking about gn1 so this is the 61st covid 19 update friends uh, after 2nd february 2022 so we've been hearing about this JN1 variant. So it's important to know what what we are aware of this. So I did a lot of search in literature search, WHO website, Indian website, Google. So there's honestly there's not much information on JN1. So I've tried to collate whatever scientific facts that I could get to have a clarity on what this JN1 virus is all about. So what are the key points about JN1 variant? So it has been first identified very recently, 1st September 2023 in the United States of America. But why has it become important? Because from 1st September to 8th December, 15 to 29% of all the COVID positives have JN strain now in US. So it started in US and, the, and it is rapidly evolving and it is uh, contributing to significant percentage of COVID cases. So after it was found in US, it has been recognized in UK, Ireland, Spain, Portugal, Netherlands. And after this, so it's come from US maybe to the Europe. And now most recently, seven cases were identified in China. After this, it's come to India. So this is how the whole story or the narrative of JN1 has started. So the genetic lineage is from the Pirola variant. So the, the previous one was the Pirola variant, BA. 2.86 so that was a variant so it is an extension of this lineage and the gn1 basically it's a spike protein mutation i'm sure all of you might have forgotten how the spike protein looks so spike protein are the spokes that are present on the viruses so gn1 is a unique mutation happening on the spike one protein spike protein very similar to omicron sort of a situation and it's derived the derivative of a pirola variant so Obviously, we are interested in India. So, what are the things in India? So, 21 cases as of yesterday have been identified JN1 variant. So, the first case happened in 79-year-old female in Kerala. They presented with mild symptoms and she's had a full recovery. After this, the news as per the latest, since I was doing this video, is 19 cases are present in Goa, JN1, and one is present in Maharashtra. So, I'm sure this may have changed as the time evolves. So in Karnataka, COVID cases, because obviously when I give COVID updates, the focus is more on my state. Karnataka, COVID cases are slowly increasing, but the JN variant as of now, as I'm talking about this, has not been identified in Karnataka. So what does the WHO stand? So in fact, I looked into WHO website, there's not much on this. So what it only says is, it's a variant of interest. JN1 is a variant of interest. It's not a variant of concern. And it, it is like Omicron, it evades the immune system. It has an ability to evade the immune system and transmits more easily. So it's very similar to Omicron uh, because Omicron also tends to evade immune system. It can transmit more easily and so are the features of GN1. And there, until now, WHO also has put this on a claim. There has been no sign of severe disease causing severe ARDS, landing on ventilator, going to ICU. That has not been reported anywhere from the world, at least from the data that I could derive. So, and as I said, with regards to symptoms and signs, most of them are mild and they recover at home. The symptoms of JN1 has been elucidated. They, they have mild symptoms, headache, rhinitis. So, I think if you recall, COVID did not typically have rhinitis. JN1 tends to have rhinitis. They can have sore throat and fever. And mild GI symptoms, and I'm sure many of you know that when Omicron came, they had GI symptoms. So, so it's very similar to Omicron, mild GI symptoms, rhinitis, headache, sore throat and fever are the symptoms that have been identified with JN1. And is vaccine effective? Yes, the vaccine against the spike protein, which we all have taken, is effective against JN1. So WHO only says we don't need to be concerned at this point of time about J1 and as no severe cases has been reported where it has destroyed a lung, landing on ventilator, landing in ICU, which is good at this point of time. But it has cautioned that one needs to be more vigilant 
and one needs to keep monitoring the situation and this is very important so this is all we have at this point of time about jn1 so right now there's no need to go on a panic mode it appears mild vaccines are effective one needs to be vigilant and monitoring since it spreads rapidly it is imperative and uh, recommended that one wears masks in the crowded situation because we don't want this spread to happen. As I'm giving this narrative, in my hospital where we did not have COVID, we had two cases of COVID. So obviously any COVID we have to send now because JN1, there's no way we can identify unless we send it for genomic sequencing. Obviously we send the samples now for genomic sequencing to see. But COVID uh, um, cases have shown some sort of a rise. Uh, we do not know whether how many of them are JN1 or how many of them are other variants. So thank you one and all. So request our valuable audience to submit their valuable work to Journal of Acute Care. You can visit my website to rehab to this. So thank you one and all.